to me, I just want to, like, I think the world's so big and so exciting and I never want to say no to opportunities just because they feel foreign to me and feel weird to me or I feel like, a, you know, like an imposter or I'm like, what the hell? I just want to really want people to hear our music and, like, not because I think we're the best, but I think, like, you know, if someone hears it, say, like, there's, like, a yeah, like a 12-year-old girl or non-binary person or bloke or whatever who's like, oh, that's pretty cool, I can do that too, then maybe that'd make a band that'd be way better than ours and just like continue the pass the torch in various ways and the weird reactions that will come from it. What's the, what's, what's the best track on the album then, as far as you're concerned, Zach? Don't need a cunt like you to love me. And so the lyrics are, um, don't need a cunt like you to love me. Don't need a cunt like you to love me. She's 10 out of 10. You say so, you think you can fuck with her? Hell no. <laughs> It shits me when people say that we sound like Blondie because I don't think we sound like Blondie. I respect Blondie. I respect Deborah Harry. I think she's a staunch person and an awesome front person. But I'm like, we don't sound nothing like them to me. And I don't want to be compared to someone just because we both have blonde hair. But it's flattering, but I'm like, we don't sound like them. We're very Australian and we're very sloppy because we're so we're influenced by Australian musicians if people are kind of like, this sounds exactly like, and then they start listing off some like classic UK punk or like, oh, you must be influenced by like Joy Division. And it's like, oh, we like oh, them. Yeah. Iggy and but the Stooges, just... compare us to oh, Iggy and the Stooges, everyone. Because we love, we were like, again, it's like love, Iggy Pop, respect, Iggy and the Stooges, fucking hero, fucking icon, fucking like pioneer. But honestly, I've only listened to his album once or twice. And of course we sound the same because it's just like a bunch of people who can't play music or we all pick up music and then it sounds the same. You really okay. set me up now. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to do a live stream in um, October that everyone in the world can watch and it's going to be really crazy with like some cars and, and stuff okay. with hits like Don't Need a Cunt Like You to Love Me and Guided by Angels. <laughs> What's your festival called? Uh, it's called Loud Women Festival. Sweet. So, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Well, if COVID disappears, well, maybe we'll be able to play it one day. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Have a good day. Bye, Dad. Bye, Bye, Angels. But they're heavenly. They're